Hi there. So here I am back with my fluffy dog that I've now combed through. Um, I've turned him round so that you can see what I'm doing on this side. So hopefully I don't um, obscure what I'm doing. Uh, so I start off by doing um, clipping the sanitary areas and under the ears. So um, I'll just come around here. So the inside of the ear flap, there's a lot of hair on the, the inside of a legato ear. So, and that can get really thick. Um, so I just take that away. Okay. And then we're going to go underneath the armpit because this again, these can get really, really solid under here. So I'm doing it on a number 10 blade. Um, and then I'm going to go under here. You see, this is a male, so be a bit careful. But um, I hold the tail and the leg, same as I did with the others, and I scoop out and go quite, quite close to the testicles. Just scoop it out, put it away from them, the inside of the groin, take that nice and short, and off the end there, you can sort of hold that so that you, and then just tidy up the ends like that, and then under the tail, don't go over the anus, just go around it, just to tidy that up, so that's nice and neat. I won't do the other side, but it's obviously the same, same the other side. So that's that. Um, so now, to so you get your dog standing nice and square, you start at the base of the tail here, flick all the hair up, and I start by trying to create a nice... Oh, excuse me. Got my scissors for the hand. Uh, so, the, the croup, nice sort of neat croup. So keep the tail out of the way. This has got to be flicked up. You want a nice outline to the hindquarters. And that's, so you take that up onto, that's it. Just, just taking the ends off. As I say, you're supposed to be same length all over, as far as possible. And flicking it out, so come off the outline of the croup and then down and you want to create a nice shape, the angulation, the angulation there. You can take this reasonably short, um, you can improve your dog's angulation by cutting a bit more angulation in but obviously any judge worth his salt will know what you've done if you've over sculpted it but um nice to show that you know good angulation um gives a nice outline to when the judge is looking at your dog so take that reason to be short so inside the leg you can take that a little bit shorter stand up sweetheart than the outside so i'm just going to Make it a nice straight line inside there. So the hock needs to be nice and straight. Hock to the ground. Create a nice straight line. Flick the hair out. Anything that's protruding. Let me get rid of those. And going down, straight down the leg, just take the legs, the ends off there, and then just taking the ends off the, the hair like that. Same on the inside. Straight down. Now some people like to leave more length of hair on the legs than the body kind of it's up to you really I think if you've got a dog that's short in leg to leave too much hair on the leg you're mainly making the leg the leg look shorter uh, equally if your dog is longer in the leg you can afford to leave a little bit more but again it should be 
following the line of the body. The body. Um, so you're looking to enhance your dog's appearance, but without sculpting too much. So now the ins the, the outline, the inside line of the of the leg. Flick that through. Now I tend to leave a little bit more, just a little bit more on the inside of the leg. You want a nice angulation here. Create a nice outline. Like that. Um, lift the leg. over the top of the foot and create a nice straight line there shape foot so that you've then got your nice angulation there nice and defined take the ends of the toes and it puts back down again so it's nice and neat And go inside the leg, flick it out so that you've got a nice neat inside of the leg. See when the judge is watching the movement from behind, you want nice and clear and, and nice shape inside there. Okay, so that's the leg, hind leg. Flick it out. This bit here, you've got to be a little bit careful to get that nice and neat. Make sure you're aware of where this skin is, finish it off nicely, flick that out, and go up at this point, against the hair, just taking the ends off, drop, just drop that away so I can see what I'm doing, flick it out, Cage, just taking it nice and just taking the ends off, creating a nice shape there. The underline here, make sure you edit the boys, you have to put your hand over the penis, just get a nice outline underneath. You can take it a bit shorter if your dog's a little bit short in leg, you can take it nice and short here if you need to. Um, but it's nice, it's good to have a nice outline there. Then, top line. You want to create a nice straight top line if you can. Which says it's those ones. Straight as you can. Ruffling it up, flicking it up. Okay, hopefully you can start to see a nice outline. back over what you've done. You might see something that you've missed. That bit there needs, uh, I'm pulling the, the skin in so that I don't I don't catch that. Get that nice and neat. Put that back on because I know it's going to sit. Before I leave the back end, I'm just going to pull the tail down, flick that up so that you've got a nice shape that takes you into the top line so you've got a lovely smooth 
shape that goes all the way up along the top line. So against the coat, flick the sides out. You want it slightly longer at the at the base of the tail and tapering into slightly shorter at the end at the tip of the tail. So Flip that bit out, and this is this to be nice and neat when they carry the tail high. Hopefully, when they're happy running around the ring, you want a nice, neat outline there. Some people take this really short here, it's personal preference. I like it to be neat, but I don't take it too short. Um, Okay, and then just and a nice neat blunt end. 